So our first gadget in spot number 10 today is going to be Bull's Stomper. Bull can interrupt his supercharge wherever he wants and slow all nearby enemies with a massive stomp for 1.5 seconds. Now this is really, really good. Just ask Pika. This is very good for Bull's mechanics because his old mechanic was kind of clunky. You kind of just charged into this line and you were charging for a while and it took some bit of time. But here it's really easy. You kind of just go ahead, stop wherever you want, able to do short charges, long charges, medium range charges, whatever you want. You can land right on top of the brawler as long as you aim it correctly. And when Bull is right beside a brawler, it's obviously very broken. So for our number 10 gadget, Stomper, it's just really, really strong. So you guys are going to see here with Bull, we're going to be able to get our super. Now with Bull, it's much easier to get super also, which is fantastic because it's passive. And we're able to just go in, stomp wherever we want. We get a really easy double kill. And with Bull, it's very easy to chain supers. You kind of just have to hit a couple shots on top of someone. So you guys can see we stomped in, we got the gems. It was really simple, really easy, nothing they can do. And we just left. It's not that difficult to use. It's kind of just auto aim. You're not really aiming anything except for the super. It's mostly just IQ. So as long as you're doing things correctly and playing it correctly, it's going to be really easy for you guys to use this gadget. It's good in basically all modes in all situations as long as you're not facing too many counters but this is going to be our number 10 gadget for today so the gadget we're going to be talking about is support from beyond so tara surrounds herself with three weak shadows that attack opponents and will disappear after six seconds now this gadget is really useful as it's going to allow you to basically get three body blocks no matter how much damage the enemy brawler does you have three shots body blocked and also does damage to anything nearby unless they take it out so this is really good against specific brawlers for example like Shelly or brawlers that don't have any pierce because they have to waste all their ammo taking out the pets and then you can just go forward and kill them easily. Tara's gadget is really good for body block. It's really good against specific lanes. You can win lanes solely off of the fact that you have this gadget. Now the vision gadget is also decently useful but this gadget really does win your lane against like 17 of the 47 brawlers. I think there are 47 but it basically wins your lane against one third of the brawlers in the game because all you have to do is pop that gadget the tar pets are going to run forward and they're just going to body block. The enemy brawler is going to have zero ammo or one ammo at best. And you're just going to be spamming your auto aim. This is really crucial for Tara because what this does is it allows Tara to get her super really quickly. And then obviously once you have that super with Tara, the game is basically free. You have easy kills. You get solo pulls. There's basically no way of losing lane with Tara if you have that pull unless you mess it up yourself. But this brawler is basically a gift. Just spam those gadgets, get your pull, cycle your pulls, and it's going to be really easy for you to win lane with Tara. So coming in at number 8, we now have Brock. So the gadget we're going to be talking about is Rocket Fuel. Brock's next attack is a Mega Rocket that is bigger, faster, and explodes with a much larger radius. Destroys walls and deals 50% extra damage. So there are a handful of brawlers in the game. Rico, Colt, Bell. Piper, another Brock B that you just need to hit one shot and then you click your green button, you go to max distance, you click auto aim and because the explosive damage is so much bigger, there is a 0% chance that they can dodge it unless they have some sort of speed advantage such as a speed Rico. So Brock's gadget is really useful for two tapping low opponents. As you guys can see on your screen right here, Gene wasn't full HP so I only had to hit it one time. I then went to the max distance of Brock's shot, I clicked the green button and I auto aimed it. I did not aim that shot. You do not have to aim the shot if you're max distance. Again, another auto aim. That one hit because of the explosive damage. It is really easy to hit. It takes not really any skill whatsoever. And it's really, really good. Now, it also has some stuff to it that is outside of the damage. For example, if you're playing Backyard Bowl, there are very little walls. You can just break the walls with your gadget if you don't like them there. If you want to open up the map. You can try and get some collateral hits. You can easily hit two opponents at once if they're lined up. The gadget is really good for a lot of different things, and that's why it's going to be number eight. Now, I do think that this gadget is actually a little bit better than number eight, but because the Brawler is a high skill cap, we're going to kind of leave it down and just leave it at number eight instead of a higher ranking because I know a lot of you guys, you guys aren't pros or anything like that, a little bit of casual. So we're going to leave this gadget at number eight. But it is really good and can definitely be higher up on the list. 
So let's move on to number seven and let's keep going. So coming in at number seven, we have 8-Bit's Cheat Cartridge. Now this is pretty simple. 8-Bit just instantly teleports to his damage booster and this is really useful for example, as a mid in gem grab, or if you want to play defense in like Brawl Ball or Heist and something, you can go aggro whenever you want and then just TP back to whatever location you set your turret as. It's really, really useful. And it's essentially like 8-bit's extra life that it used to have. You can kind of just dip back to where you were and not take any damage, kind of just go back to a safe spot, regen, and go back into the battle. So for 8-bit, I think the biggest use, like I said earlier, is mid in gem grab. It's a really, really good brawler here. And it's just so overpowered. If, if there's something like a gene that wants to pull you, as you guys can see on your screen here, you can just TP back to your 8-bit booster, you know, get to a perfectly safe spot where they can't hurt you. It's just really, really strong, and it really does act kind of like an extra life that 8-bit used to have. It's very safe. You can go and try and pick up a gem. For example, that gem is all the way up there. I can go and try and pick it up, take a lot of damage, and then safely teleport back to where I was and just regen my health and go back in. It's very useful. It's good in a lot of different modes, not just mid and gem grab, but this is going to be the number seven gadget for us today. Let's move on to number six and let's keep this list going. So coming in at number six, we have one of the more high skill cap gadgets. Not that it's necessarily hard to use, but the brawler itself is a little bit difficult to use. So you guys might not think the gadget is OP because it's hard to use the brawler, but if you can use it properly, Rico's new gadget is overpowered. So here we have Bouncy Castle. So Rico's next attack will heal him for 300 health from every bounce of the projectile. So what exactly does this mean? Every single time a Rico pellet of your shot hits a wall, each time it's going to regen you 300 HP. Now Rico doesn't have that much HP, so all you have to do is shoot it at a wall where it comes back and forth a couple times, and you are going to get full HP every single time. Additionally, if you just do it with your regular shot and you only bounce it one time, you're still going to regen to basically full HP. It is a super strong gadget. Highly recommend using it. It is so overpowered. So here we have the overpowered Rico gadget. Now this is kind of cool because I can show you guys the Tara gadget as well. You guys can see this Tara is spamming gadget to gain position. It's only hit two shots up to this point now, obviously a lot more. But I'm able to use my heal gadget to kind of counter the Tara gadgets that it's been using. Now, the Tara hasn't really done that much outside of spam gadgets, but it's already one shot off of super. And you guys can see I've countered the Tara by just spamming that gadget, my own gadget, twice. And now I was able to get the full HP. Now, you guys can see, just like I said with the Tara, you guys are going to be able to get your full first pull really early on in the game really easily as long as you spam your Tara gadgets. Um, unfortunately though, I did say if you waste your Tara pull, you're going to be kind of trapped for the rest of the game and it's on you, it's not on the brawler. And as you guys saw right there, the Tara did waste gadget, but now because of the gadget that of Rico, I'm going to be full HP here. I'm going to have control and Rico is just obviously so good. You can keep range, so you're barely taking any damage as is, but if you ever need to heal up, you can just shoot those walls, heal up perfectly fine. And this is why this gadget is so overpowered right now. So coming in at number five, we have Sandy's new gadget. Sandy's gadget, Sweet Dreams, stuns your opponent for 1.5 seconds max. So if you shoot your opponent before the 1.5 seconds, they're going to come back kind of to life. They're not going to be stunned anymore. So what you want to do when you use this gadget is stun them for 1.5 seconds. Let your shot regenerate so you have three shots in the bank instead of two. And it also allows your teammates to come closer and then continuously just shoot your shots at it. But because they were asleep for 1.5 whole seconds, they're not going to be able to kill you. You're just going to have too much too many shots and too much HP. They're not going to have enough. They're not going to be able to regenerate health. So this is going to be a really easy gadget for you guys to use. Now with Sandy, there's a lot of different uses for the gadget. For example, my favorite is in Bravo when you shoot the ball and then you stun forward. What that does is it basically just doesn't let them save it. You cannot save the ball because you're going to be stunned. So just click your gadget, have your gadget ready, shoot the ball, and then immediately follow that up with a stun shot and what that's going to allow is just a free goal every single time you guys can see there i got the double stun then i waited for madison to move forward i didn't just immediately continuously shoot my shots i let my primo get into a position where he can also get shots off and then i followed up in spam shots as well i mean it's just really broken there's not much that they can do again you guys can see on your street your screen here i wait three seconds the tar is going to try and pull me but there's nothing it can do i unfortunately died to a tar shade there but you guys get the point this gadget is really good wait don't just spam your shots when you use the gadget or else there's essentially no point in even using the gadget because it's just going to be like a regular shot you guys know what to do it's a broken gadget this is our number five let's move into number four and let's keep going coming in at number four we have rosa's unfriendly bushes all opponents hiding in bushes which means any brawler 
outside of your team. So any opponent brawler inside a bush will take 100 damage and get slowed down for three seconds. Now, obviously, that is completely broken. That is a lot of time being slowed for a row. So you can just walk up and get a kill really easily, as you guys can see on your screen right here against basically any brawler in the game. So Rosa's gadget is really good for early positioning because it's kind of hard for Rosa to get her first super. But because you can slow them down and just kind of walk into them, it makes it really easy for you to be able to get your first super, get your first kill and get position, which is what tanks struggle with so much. Now, as you guys can see, I'm kind of lurking. I'm waiting for them to get into bushes. They're not, they're trying to stay out of it, which is also something that is really overpowered about Rosa is the fact that they actually are forced to stay out of the bushes because they are just going to die to you if they go anywhere near those bushes. Now, this game was kind of wild. As you guys can see here, we're able to slow down the, um, the Tara and kind of get a free kill on the Tara, which doesn't allow them to get the next gems. But you guys understand. Rose's gadget is really good. It slows them. It's good in every single mode. It's really not really mode dependent. It's just like, if there's grass, it's good. If there's no grass on the map, it's not going to be good. But yeah, Rose's gadget is very strong. Easily number four. Let's move into the top three and show you guys the best three gadgets in Brawl Stars. So coming in at number three is my favorite gadget in the game, Homemade Recipe. Now, Homemade Recipe on activation, Piper's next main attack will home in on enemies. So translation, it's basically aimbot. It gives you a few extra tiles. It does some crazy curves. It's basically a free shot that you hit with piper now matched when matched with ambush you're doing 2900 so 2900 damage basically for free you can auto aim it it's really simple to use it's a really 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 good gadget and i feel like it's very self-explanatory now as you guys can tell from competitive or even just watching this channel homemade recipe is obviously just broken it's basically a free shot as you guys can see on my screen right now no way i can ever hit that shot but the curve is going to allow me to get a really easy kill. I didn't even aim that, that was pure auto aim. I just shoot it and the curve is just so nasty. It's so much damage, it's so easy to hit. And I mean, I would highly, highly, highly recommend using this over the other gadget, unless for whatever reason you are 100% certain that you're gonna be facing a Mortis, which either way, I don't know why you'd be playing Piper if you're gonna be facing a Mortis. But this is just a really good gadget. It's really strong. It basically allows you to hit any sing every single shot. And I 100% recommend using this brawler if you ever want to be using a sniper and using this gadget if you ever want to get some easy kills. So these two gadgets are going to be above and beyond every other gadget in the game. But coming in at number two, we have Slowing Toxin. So what Slowing Toxin does is it slows every enemy brawler that is hit by a crow shot, which is very easy to hit, by the way, for five whole seconds i don't know whose idea this was because this is extremely 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 broken but it is going to be our second best gadget today so as i said crow's gadget is really easy to use you guys can see 20 sec or sorry not even 20 10 seconds into the game we were able to get a triple slow off and that allowed us to get two kills unfortunately i went down maybe because i'm a bad player i don't know but i did go down but we got two really easy kills and would have had a third if i just stayed up Crow's Gadget is just extremely strong. It's so easy to use, and it matches really well with brawlers like Bell, Piper, Brock, just other sharpshooters that are going to be able to easily take down an opponent when they're slowed. If you're down in a game and really need a kill, you can just solo slow someone, which is what we call in the pro scene, when you can just get one slow and kind of target that one player and get an easy kill. Or if you want to make a game-changing play and kind of change the way the direction of the game is going, you can just slow all three and try and get a team wipe. Either way, there's a lot of uses with this uh, with this Brawler gadget. It's really good. It's good in every mode. It's not really mode dependent or Brawler dependent. It's just good into everything. But this is going to be our number two gadget. So let's move on to number one, the most OP gadget in the game. Let's get into it and let's show you guys what it is. So coming in here, number one, we have Surge's teleport gadget. So we have Power Surge. Surge overloads his circuits and teleports a short distance forward. Now this is so vitally important to surge's mechanics because surge when level one is so slow and has no range but this allows you to easily get your second level which is going to give you some speed and if you use your teleport again it's going to allow you to get some range on your shot and that is when surge starts to become an overpowered brawler so as you guys can see here i'm just a sad little surge i'm very slow i can't really do anything 
I even I got to power two, but once I get that TP, it is really easy to get kills. You guys can see that B is one shot. I TP for it. I'm able to get the kill. Unfortunately, I'm bad, so I do go down. But it just allows you to get those next levels. It allows you to get those kills that you wouldn't be able to get without it. And it just makes Surge a very strong brawler. As you guys can see, I'm coming up the map again. If someone is too far or if someone's behind a wall, I'm going to be able to just TP and get an easy kill. As you guys can see right there, just TP, get my next power up, which I wouldn't be able to get without the teleport. And now here I am. I'm fast. I have range and I'm able to compete with any other brawler. You really don't need your teleports for anything else. You could go for like a flashy goal or for a play, but all you really need is your teleport to get you to that third stage. And then you just become an overpowered brawler. And I mean, that's just really it. You need this gadget for Surge, but it is definitely very broken and 100% the number one gadget in the game. So anyways, it's going to be it for our top 10 gadgets list. I really wanted to throw roughs into here because the bags are really strong, but I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree with that one. So I decided to keep it out, but it is really valuable against brawlers like Brock, Rico, Surge. You just absolutely hard counter them and it's so hard for them to win lane when you have those dog bags down, but they're just bags. So you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, how are you gonna put bags number 10 when there are other amazing gadgets? So I kept that off the list, but that is going to be my top 10. If you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, do all that, you guys already know, but I will see you guys again tomorrow. I will catch you guys then. Peace. Awful, awful YouTube.